Here you can see my Micrologix 1100 all powered up. I'm at the main menu and I access that main menu by pressing the escape key. And now if I want to change the DCOM configuration setting, I'm going to have to hit the down arrow key four times to select advanced set and then press the OK button. Here at this menu, I need to hit the down arrow key once to select DCOM config and press the OK button. Now here you can see DCOM config disable is selected. And we can tell that the DCOM config is not on because if we look at the top of the LCD screen, that middle square is hollow and that's the square, the indicator for the DCOM setting. So now I'm gonna enable the DCOM. So I'm gonna press the up arrow key once then I'm going to press OK, and you can see I immediately get a message that says comms config set to DF1 default. And I also see the middle square at the top of the screen is now solid, indicating that DCOM config is enabled. Now I'm going to go ahead and press escape to dismiss this message. And I'm going to press OK again to go back into the DCOM config. And I'm going to press the down arrow button once and OK to disable DCOM. Now you see a message saying comms config is restored and you'll also notice the middle square at the top of the screen is now hollow again, indicating that DCOM has been turned off.